So guys, today I'm here to review for you the brand new flanker of Miss Dior, which is Parfum 2024 edition. The nose behind which is the new in-house perfumer of the house of Dior, Francis Corrigion, and I always have hard time saying his name, so please excuse my French. And not only I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on this new Miss Dior flanker, but also I really want to touch on a few other perfumes from this line and address this entire Miss Dior situation overall, so keep on watching. It's gonna be a chatty video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. After you're done with that, we can get started. Hello and welcome everyone to today's video in which we are gonna be talking about the new Miss Dior flanker. It's Parfum 2024 and the nose behind it is Francis Corrigan. Well, before I get started with my impressions of this fragrance, I just wanted to say right away that I didn't expect to have uh, Francis Corrigan's debut as in-house perfumer, especially for the commercial line, because he has already composed a few perfumes for the private line, those more expensive and high-end, almost niche fragrances. But for commercial line, he hasn't created anything yet, and I thought it's going to be a Polar release. I thought it's going to be something new. I thought now Dior will actually bring us something exciting, like they used with Addict, and I also really, really love their fragrances from the past that are not available anymore. Of course, Poison is iconic, so I thought it's gonna be something in that vein. So when they release a new flanker, and the nose is Francis Corrigan, who is definitely a very talented perfumer. I mean, like, he is the man behind Baccarat Rouge. So I thought maybe it's gonna be something like that, modernized, a little bit more commercial and approachable, but now, seeing this flanker, I realized that uh, Dior really has got itself as a brand into like that position where they are not bringing anything new, exciting, attractive, intriguing to the market. It's just the same strategy of re-releasing their Miss Dior's that I just like, I find became from this truly wonderful and very girly, very beautiful perfume as it intended to be because it's actually inspired by Christian Dior's sister, especially after the war time. Everyone was craving beauty, so he wanted to create a fragrance that is like love. And actually it's surprising, well, maybe not really because these days perfumes flankers are not like uh, original fragrances, but it used to have such notes as Gardenia, Galbanum, Bergamot, Little of the Valley, Narcissus Rose, Carnation, and those were pretty popular notes way back uh, in the 40s and 50s, and what we have now is this very watered-down, rosy type of floral fragrance that is definitely very suitable for younger audience, but still like when I find we are thinking thinking about teenage fragrances or just, you know, very ladylike, ethereal, playful, light, uh, inoffensive perfumes and Dior and their pricing, maybe as a gift, someone could actually buy such expensive perfume and make a really nice present to, you know, like a daughter or a niece or something like that. But if I'm like a student and I want just like my first perfume or something, Dior and Miss Dior wouldn't be the one I would go for because very overpriced, doesn't last long, lacks character, even for a light fragrance, it's not enough in my personal opinion. But with that being said, I actually do have two fragrances from this line myself and this Blooming Bouquet from 2014 actually um, made me fall in love with it. It's a very lovely, fresh, authentic scent of... Oh, romantic and clean, very beautiful, pure peony flowers. It's fresh, it's kind of juicy, but not too fruity, it's not sweet. It actually smells a little bit watery, like raindrops on gentle peony petals in the springtime. So I really love that OG blooming bouquet, but now I have this new type of blooming bouquet because they've just 
re-released it and once again I don't know how about you guys I would love to get your feedback on it but I just get lost with all those flankers because it's not even like they create some kind of new versions of this perfume I'm actually not against limited editions when they really play around the packaging and presentation and actually change the notes a little bit but Dior has been just making the same bottle they are almost the same there is barely any difference when you look at them so you might actually get confused in the shop in case you're not really um, you know aware how they should look and the names it's blooming bouquet it's blooming bouquet eau de toilette it's miss dior eau de toilette it's eau de parfum it's parfum and once again they look so much alike that it's disturbing and very how should i say under creative like i don't know who is a creative director of dior house but it's really like obvious that he or she is not doing a great job However, I really like Miss Dior Eau de Parfum from a couple of years ago because it actually seemed very different from this entire range. It was very powdery and fresh, almost much a tea-like, and I loved that vibe. It's more long-lasting than many other fragrances from Miss Dior collection, so that was lovely, but they've kindly um, given me this sample set at Douglas, so I really want to compare the Blooming Bouquet Eau de Toilette, which is this very, yeah, fresh scent of, I would say, perfumed floral notes. You can sm smell the floral, see, it's a little bit fresh, it's like very crisp, clean, a little bit musky, and floral for sure, but muted. You can't pinpoint the notes. I know that there is something rosy, peony like going on, but once again, it's not like the fragrance when you smell it and can actually recall the notes in there. So it's very blurred, is I guess what I'm trying to explain. And if you're not into obvious notes or scent profiles and you're looking for something very simple that might be it however this new version created by francis cordichon and now i really need to complain because he is such a master of perfumery for his own line he is creating bangers those fragrances are bold they are extreme i know that his artisan collection and you know what what he is doing for there are probably going to be two different things but just like you know, starting as like an almost like a fresh start with a Miss Dior flanker. It's not what they should have done, in my personal opinion. Let me know if you agree or not. But the fragrance is not bad. It's definitely quite similar to Miss Dior Eau de Parfum that I like so much, but with slight changes. So there is some sweetness in here and I do like that a lot. Then we have a something dirty and like um, a little bit woody in there. So that's quite interesting, especially in the dry down. I feel like there is his signature ampery molecule going on, especially mixed with patchouli and mossy notes. It just had something, I wouldn't say edgy, nor it's something old fashioned, but like, yeah, there is just like that breath of the original Miss Dior going on, which might be attractive some, to some people. What I would say, this is not like a simple girly girl fragrance. No, it has some more power to it, thanks God, because if they created just another watered down, rose watered fragrance, that would be just like <laughs> very, very bad move. Uh, but yeah, there is this juiciness and at the same time tartness in there. Not much of floral, see. In fact, when I look into the notes, there is jasmine, there are floral notes, and there are wild strawberries. So that's actually interesting to see in Miss Dior, which reminds me of Miss Dior Cherie. I believe it used to feature this strawberry note or something very fruity and um, tart, which I know many people miss. And I find that that was probably the best flank of Miss Dior. It was a fragrance for itself and if they created like a Miss Dior Sherry flanker, oh my god, all people would just, you know, run to the store and it would be sold out immediately. So I don't know why their creative uh, team haven't thought about bringing back Miss um, Dior Sherry, Sherry Miss Dior, because that perfume is such a favorite. It's like an, an amazing, very recognizable perfume. And since it has been discontinued, so many people miss it. 
and it's kind of similar but not really I unfortunately can't compare them side by side but that perfume had the beautiful edginess and sultry vibe and because there is this nice base of something so the fruits and the florals can stick to it like ambers patchouli moss and woods it's a little bit more long lasting the dry down is very grown up I like how mature it smells so that's it I'm not mad at this specific flanker but I'm mad at Dior overall because they can't pull it together and just bring us something new and exciting modern and at the same time elegant in their style the bottle is just very underwhelming to me personally and they should have put some more effort into the presentation but that's my overall complaint about um, you know the approach and also my two cents on uh, this new flanker let me know what do you think about Francis as an in-house perfumer did you expect him to create something new or it was predictable that they're gonna be coming up with a Miss Dior flanker because at some point I think they can stop but anyway I hope they will and uh, don't really buy this fragrance try it out in the shop a couple of times it's not bad but we should definitely give a sign that it's not the right way to do it and I guess that was all from me today please let me know if you have any questions left I have a couple of other videos dedicated to Miss Dior perfume so I will leave relevant information down below in the description box as well as where you can follow me on my social media to stay in touch and of course shop perfumes with my disc to save some money. Last thing I would like you to do is to give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. It was helpful and fun and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That would be amazing and thank you so much for watching. Make sure to stay tuned, smell good. We'll see each other next one really soon. Bye guys!